Hey guys, good evening. Didn't I say that I wasn't going to be filming like that? Yada, 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 yada. Right? That's what I said, right? And here I am with the second one of the day. Really, I came for you to see my new glasses. If you can see, uh, I had a, if you're one of my old timers, you know I had some blue glasses. Very pretty. Uh, laid them on the bed and Bear, my German Shepherd, jumped up on the bed and sat on them and broke them. So I had to get new glasses. I just got new glasses, actually. But if you take a look at these, I kind of been feeling them. I'm not 100% sure. They kind of remind me of 1950s or 1960s where, you know, the school librarian, they had the little string going around or, or your Aunt Betty with the hat, you know, those glasses. But anyways, here they are. Um, did y'all see Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, George Santos get kicked out of New York? Oh, my God. I am so proud of my state right now. First of all, she should have never come to New York. New York is not no podunk place in Georgia where she's from. This is a huge city. It's the Big Apple. It is the city of business and industry and Broadway. And people are diverse in every possible way. Economically, racial, gender identification, financial, whatever way. And you going to come to our city and tell us what you going to do? You should have known better. They already ran out your proud boys, and now here you are bringing your foolish self. They had brought pots and pans and whistles and drums and horns and everything. She got out her her vehicle with all kind of security, but I thought she was a tough girl, right? I thought she was so tough. Oh, she only tough on the Parkland kid walking down the street. That's what you're tough on. Nevertheless, she starts speaking in these megaphone things. They out yelled her, hollered her, whistled. Michael Rappaport, if you know who he is, actor, comedian, whatever, you could hear. I saw a video of him. Oh, man, the stuff he was telling her to get back to the farm and he called her a pig and a QAnon and a racist and blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. It was insane. She got back in that truck so quick and did some brief little interview and went on, carried herself back down to wherever she come from. George Santos, he was there. I I'm doing nothing. I'm leaving. Are you coming back at all later today? No, because you guys make it unbearable to be here. Why are you here then? I uh, came to the president, but... <laughs> you guys don't like me. You're mean to me. I'm going home. He came and left. Uh, old Trumpster said that he was going to have a presser, right? And right after he get out of court, he'd be on the, the courtroom steps speaking. Okay, really? Because you put your tail between your legs and you left. If you saw him come out of the area where he was getting his fingerprints, he was looking sad, hurt, broken. Now, a lot of people say mad. Could have been mad. Look more sad to me, like humiliated and devastated. And this is beneath me, all of that. But even if he was anger, anger is on the same coin as fear. That's where it comes from. It's your fear that you're caught in your mess. And this is just the beginning. Anyways, let me tell you what I really came for. Now, I, I might be late on this tea. You guys might already know this and just I don't know. I, I can be late. That's OK. But I might be late, but I'm going to verify. So I heard that Donald Trump paid his doorman, his doorman at his place, $30,000. Now, why, you might ask, would he pay? You know, he paid. we know he paid Stormy Daniels and uh, what is it, Karen McDougal and and some others, large sons of money. But why would he do a doorman? Well, here's the tea. Now, I'm not one to gossip, so at any rate, evidently the doorman had information on the fact that he had a secret child. Yes, child, yes. Back in like 20... Between 2013, 2014, somewhere there, maybe 2015, 
um, that's when the payment happened. And it was another one of these hidden payments. Evidently, what happened was, here he is being the playboy and the lover man, and he can get whoever he wants to get. He only gets people for the, with money. That's the only way he gets anybody. Let's be real. Let's be really real. Because from what I heard, down below looks like a mushroom cap. That's what they say. Nevertheless, here's our playboy. And in his building, this building, this situation happened. It was, I feel like, a person that worked for them and took care of them. This could be maid, housekeeper, something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Something, someone who took care of the family, made sure everyone was fed, ate, fed, taking care of the family. Now, while everybody else is over there doing whatever family stuff do, he's on the side, fool a lot. This lady, he is, is doing on a regular. And... She gets pregnant. Yes, she gets pregnant. So, of course, he still wants the pleasure without the pain. You know, he still wants the pleasure and not the pain. He knows that if this comes out, he's going to be ruined. Why do I feel, feel this lady is Latin? She could be, but that he would be ruined. That here he is, uh, racist and, and talking about Mexicans or this and that and the third and all that kind of stuff. And... You're sleeping with your housekeeper. So he knew that he was going to be ruined. Absolutely. His running for presidency is not something that just came out of the blue. He'd been talking about this for years. And so now it was in that, that serious, let's plan and let's make this happen stage. And so what did he do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's her. And what did he do about it? He paid money. He paid money for that. Not to get rid of it. The child, I believe, how I'm feeling is that child is still around. That child is still here. Um, I feel like the child is here and he's made some type of a secret settlement, Michael Cohen or whoever, made a secret settlement to give this lady X amount, but... That from time to time, she rears up again to get additional money, different payments for whatever, whatever, whatever. So he is, he's a daddy again. That's what I'm saying. This is all alleged. This is all alleged, but this is what I'm seeing. That it was somebody that worked for him in an under position. And I'm saying housekeeper. It could be housekeeper. It could be maid. But somebody in a position beneath him, because that's all he could really get a hold of, honestly. No slaps none of these other ladies, these uh these these girls that he was messing around with, Stormy Daniels and all that, but I guarantee you he would have got some highly educated, sophisticated, la 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 woman from New York. No, he's just a joke. So yes, he had the, the lady had the child, the lady got pregnant, at least I feel like there is a child out there somewhere. I don't think the child will come to the forefront. I think this lady is bound, sealed, and delivered in lawsuits that could really do a lot for her. The only way is if this guy, this this doorman, comes up and said something. If he's been called to talk about more of these money situations. Yeah. They, she's taking this girl away. This girl might altogether be in a completely different country. I see her. This is the mom having this desire to go back to where she came from, go back somewhere. And she's taking this young lady. I still feel like it is a young lady. Couldn't be a boy. But uh, she's taking that on back to family. This lady took it back to the place that reminded her of home, wherever home is for her. Yeah, and she still is kind of manipulating manipulating him in a way. Well, he deserves it. He deserves to be manipulated. You know, making sure that she's taken care of extra, extra well. Um, the only sad part is that the child is still here is there's not a relationship. But she doesn't understand is there wouldn't have been that much of a relationship to begin with. He only likes people 
that he can use and take advantage of and make him look like he's in a good light. That's what he likes. So I don't think that that would show well because he's got this whole Aryan family. And then here this girl will come in looking perhaps Latin, perhaps something else. But anyways, that's what I have for you, girl. That's the tea. Y'all go have a good evening. See you. Bye.